So for example, in that figure, you will see that we were able to produce 275 bushel corn on 60 pounds of nitrogen in one case. In another case, it took almost 250 pounds of N to produce 250 bushel corn. And you can see that there's a complete scatter there. So we should no longer be basing our N rate recommendation based on expected yield potential. Instead, we should be using economics to do so. So what's the price of the corn you expect to sell? and what's the price of the nitrogen you expect to buy. You should use those two economic functions to decide how much nitrogen you're gonna put on your corn. In relation to that concept, there's been a tool developed called the Maximum Return to End Calculator. That was developed by a conglomeration of Midwestern universities. You can go to that website and you can punch in the price you paid for your nitrogen and the price you expect to get for your corn, and it's gonna spit out a economic optimum nitrogen rate. Now that rate, there's gonna be a range associated with that rate. And the reason there's a range associated with that rate is when you get to the top of the yield response curve in corn, it takes a lot of nitrogen to increase corn yield by another bushel or two, okay? So there's a profitable rate range and you're gonna find that there's a high end rate and you're gonna find there's a low end rate. I would err on the side of the higher end rate and that's gonna help you buy some risk against weather conditions and it's not, you know, primarily wet weather, and it's not gonna cost you a lot more money to do so. So I would really check that website out. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.